Hey there, and welcome to today's video. For today's video, we are going to be building something that I never thought I would say before. We are actually building a dog house. <laughs> now, no one actually recommended this one, as far as I'm aware. But, I was playing Animal Crossing the other day, and I saw the little dog house that you can build. And I thought, why don't we try to build this and see how much of this I can actually make into a house. Now this worked a bit kind of like the house that I made that look like a table where it's it kind of looks like a house but it's not really a house. What I mean by this is that the inside while it's the full layout of a fully functional house there aren't any windows inside of it. I didn't really want to put any windows since that would really take away from the outside of what the doghouse looked like. So I decided not to put any windows, but I did put some fake curtains. So if you downloaded this house and you wanted to put some windows, you can certainly just put the windows where the curtains were, and it will actually make sense to put them there. Now one other thing that I did is I ended up putting a little section in the front where it would look like a dog might be in there. Now, I put a bit of a question mark when I say that, since I don't really know what the inside of a doghouse would typically have. All the dogs I've had have been indoor dogs, so I'm not too sure what you would put inside a doghouse. So I just assume a little blanket, or in this case a rug, and some toys. I, I figure that's pretty much all that would be in there. Maybe some bowls as well, but there wasn't really anything that you could use as a bowl in The Sims and size it up. So I decided to just leave it at the toys. As for the layout of this house, at first I thought it was going to be too much space, and then it turned out to be too little space. I wanted to make this a three bedroom house, and I ended up making it just a two bedroom, two bath. I could have made it just a two bed, one bath, and have it make a little bit more sense. Since once I started putting furniture down, I actually realized you couldn't fit a proper dining room. But I also figured it wasn't a big deal to not have a dining room, since there is a peninsula in the kitchen. Now for the colors inside, I decided to follow along with what I was doing outside. There was wood whenever you build a doghouse involved, so in this case, it was painted red and the roof of it was painted blue. So I thought, why don't we carry that inside and keep going with the red and blue theme? Kind of superhero-y, but at the same time, it was what fit the best outside. I did cut some of it out, but I tried to play around with some different color combinations. And the main issue was that the colors for the wide planks aren't that varied. So if I wanted it to be really colorful, like I was envisioning, it basically meant that I needed to stick to certain colors. So in this case, it was a red, and when I was looking at how to make the opening of the doghouse instead of just being open without any walls there, so my options with the columns were very limited, especially when it came down to the colors that you were able to choose. Now, as I was doing the living room, I realized, oh, I don't actually have space for a dining room. So I ended up actually moving the peninsula to the other side of the wall, which it does end up looking a bit land when you look at the wall right next to the door but that is one of the walls where i mean that you could put some windows if you wanted to put some windows after you downloaded this house as for the bedrooms it's just your typical bedrooms there is a master bedroom with their own bathroom and the second bedroom i ended up deciding to make it for two kids instead of just one maybe it's two kids maybe it's two teens maybe it's a kid and a teen but I definitely kept in mind to put in a laptop in there so they were able to use a computer for skill building. And the other side is just for doing their homework. Now, here's a little tip when you're playing The Sims. Instead of using desks, just use a regular table. If you use a regular table, both slots on the table are actually usable. You could even put it with the four slots as you would a regular dining table. The issue when it comes to desks is that you only have one usable space. So if you wanted two sims to use that space to do their homework, for example, you wouldn't be able to do that. So if you ever see me building with tables instead of desks, that's typically the reason why. If I am putting a computer on it though, and I'm expecting it to only be used by one sim at a time, then I would likely just use a desk. It really depends on 
what the function is that you're expecting out of it, and what look you're going for at the end of the day. Now I really went wild with the color schemes when it came to the bathrooms. I decided that the master bedroom was going to be all red, while the main bathroom was going to be all blue. So I tried to go with that theme. At the end of the day, I decided that putting wallpaper to match was going to be just a bit too much. So I did tone it down a bit by putting, I believe I ended up putting just white brick. So while the sink and the bathtub and the shower all are either red or blue, at least the walls aren't as well. Now we are getting close to the end of the video. This one is a bit of a shorter one, but I would like you to let me think if not having any windows was too weird this time around. I thought it was pushing it a bit when I started putting some of the curtains, but I did want to show where I would have put the windows. As I mentioned, I just didn't put them since I thought that was kind of ruin the look of the house since I was going for, hey, this is a doghouse instead of, hey, this is actually a house that just looks like a doghouse from the outside. <laughs> but let me know what you think down in the comments below. Let me know what you'd like me to try out next time. Let me know what you would change in this house. Consider though the theme and the color scheme. But thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you in the next video. Have a great weekend.